For Melissa Mansell, walking through the streets of St Peterport is a struggle. She doesn't know how she'll be feeling from day to day due to constant nerve pain. Sometimes it's a lot more bearable than others. Um, and yeah, that just affects a lot of different aspects of life. You have the physical pain, there's fatigue, um, it affects muscle strength, etc. So there's a lot of a lot of challenges that come with that. Now at the moment I feel quite well sat with you talking, but this evening I might not feel well at all. I might end up in bed for most of the evening or you know, my husband might help, have to help me undress even. So so variable really is completely, completely variable. You don't know what you're doing day to day. Melissa has complex regional pain syndrome. Her days dressing up as a Disney princess for children's parties and her other job working in Guernsey's hospital have been put on hold. I was obviously full-time working and it was just impossible to predict whether I could make said shift, finish said shift and now with the position I'm in I don't feel it would be fair to go to any employer. Chronic pain is defined as a pain that lasts beyond three months. In Guernsey the pain management team is seeing around 700 patients with new types of pain each year. Numbers are also increasing by 10% annually due to the island's ageing population and more recognition of the condition. So, can you push me down, please, as hard as you can? Thank you, and again. The constant pain isn't the only problem. The impact it can have on people can be life-changing. Well, the pain is transmitted through the nerves, to the spinal cord and to the, to the brain, where it, in a way, settles in. It can change, to, can change our, our mood and our attitude to the world and can lead to anxiety, depression, things like that. So, basically, this thrashy box right here. After researching her condition, Melissa has decided to have a spinal cord stimulator implant. This uses electrodes to override the damaged nerves. Should that be successful, I can come back um, and hopefully work with the physiotherapy teams here, rebuild the limbs that are affected and try and just get a bit more consistency with my abilities and with how I feel. But Dr Stefak, who has closely worked with this particular implant himself, warns the treatment offers no permanent fix. It's not a complete cure. So uh, the aim of the spinal cord stimulation is to reduce reliance on medications and reduce pain by about 50%, you know. So it's not something that you will get a cure. It's been also shown that with spinal cord stimulation, you get a reduction in effect over the period of time. For Melissa, it's already giving her a new lease of life. I have had my implant trial and I'm going for the permanent implant tomorrow and uh, it's all going really well. At the moment I feel like the effects are really positive. I'm sat cross-legged right now. I've been to the zoo. I've walked up and down stairs. I've had lots of spasms in my leg but a lot less pain. Um, so yeah, it feels quite effective at the minute. A few months on and Melissa's recovery is going well, allowing her to return to work, showing there is hope in the face of chronic pain. Annie Nolson, ITV News.